So we're en route to a uh, structure fire at a church. Um, we got an officer on scene now, so there's heavy flames from the rear. We don't know if the dwelling is occupied at this point, so we're gonna try to get in there until we determine uh, whether it's been uh, totally vacated or not. Got quite a bit of smoke coming out through the roof. Uh, it's a shame if there's a lot of damage. It's a very historical building as well, so. Anybody inside? Uh, when I ran up, I checked the doors, they all were locked. OK. That wind's starting to feed it. So at this point, due to the uh, this fire with the wind, it's really starting to, they're starting to lose it a little bit here. We're going to try to evacuate some of these houses in case the wind blows some flames this way. But, just, just be aware. It looks like this is starting to. I know it's a corner, man. I, I told just, you. I just told be cautious Brian. of your property here. I, know. I um, told Brian. I said that thing is like a let, wood let, stove right, right. now. Let it's your like... wife know. God forbid it moves over here. You guys need to have a plan to get out of here, okay? There's a heavy wind out here. The temperatures are really starting to drop. Uh, I think they're going to have a. If they can just contain it to this one structure, I think I think they got to win with that. But um, I think this building's going to be a total loss. We're receiving word from fire that the steeple could potentially collapse at this point. So we're trying to clear everybody away uh, just in case that structure should come down. That is incredible. Old old wiring up there. Uh, up there, no, no wiring working up there. Because all of, they had a um, sound system or bell system up there, but it hasn't been used in years. I mean, it looks like maybe it was cooking for a while in there. You know, maybe. I didn't smell. I said 12:30. I was probably left at 12:30, so I was in there. I was right. not smelling. Yeah, what a shame. At this point, uh, they continued to uh, soak down a lot of the hot spots. And uh, it's probably going to be a long night out there for them. But at least they get it under control. I think any uh, threat of uh, neighboring structures uh, catching on fire have, have been diminished. And uh, it'll uh, and eventually end up into an investigation for the, uh, the cause of the fire.